To abortion in Arizona. This afternoon, anti-abortion advocates rallied outside Planned Parenthood. Those standing outside told Scripps News Tucson that this is about providing support for women and choosing life and that their fight isn't over. Planned Parenthood's Arizona CEO releasing a statement saying in part it is unfortunate and unacceptable that Arizonans cannot even defend our uh, not even depend on our Supreme Court to look past personal ideology and impartially apply the law. The protest came on the same day Vice President Kamala Harris visited Tucson. The VP was there to talk about abortion in Arizona amid that recent decision from the state Supreme Court to uphold a near total ban on abortion dating back to 1864. And Arizona is, of course, a battleground state, and many are trying to paint this coming election as a referendum on reproductive rights. Rachel Louise Just with her ABC 15 political team in Tucson tonight with what top political leaders and candidates on both sides are saying. If there's any question left that Arizona was the next battleground state in the post row abortion fight, this week should put that to rest. Vice President Kamala Harris coming here today in Tucson to talk specifically about reproductive rights during a key election year. What has happened here in Arizona is a new inflection point. Former President Donald Trump again taking ownership for Roe being overturned on Friday and what he said was an effort to give the issue back to the states. The states are working their way through it. And you're going, you're having some very, very beautiful harmony, to be honest with you. The 2024 race turning into a cross country back and forth, as Trump said this about Roe being overturned. It's uh, working the way it's supposed to. Soon after in Arizona, <laughs> the response. And as much harm as he has already caused, a second Trump term would be even worse. Vice President Kamala Harris placing the blame for Arizona's incoming ban on Trump. And now Trump wants us to believe he will not sign a national ban. Enough with the gaslighting. Enough with the gaslighting. The Democratic National Committee also hitting on Trump's role, putting up these billboards around Arizona this week. To be clear, the near total abortion ban set to take effect was not a decision made by the former president. However, he did appoint three of the U.S. Supreme Court justices who overturned Roe. And without Roe in place, Arizona's current reality became possible. It has demonstrated once and for all that overturning Roe was just the opening act just the opening act of a larger strategy to take women's rights and freedoms. Part of a full on attack state by state on reproductive freedom. Trump, one of a few Republicans now saying the abortion ban goes too far. This week, House Republicans blocked two efforts from Democrats to vote to repeal the 1864 law. Trump seemed confident Friday Arizona's Republicans would change their tone. The judge made a ruling but that's going to be changed by government. They're going to be changing that. The 1864 ban only has an exception for the mother's life. Arizona's lawmakers will return to the Capitol next week. Democrats say they're going to continue to push for a repeal vote. In Tucson, Rachel Louise, Just, ABC 15, Arizona. And our ABC 15 data analyst went inside the numbers earlier this week. Now, abortion is a top issue for one in 10 Arizona voters. About 4 in 10 Arizona voters think it should be legal in all circumstances, and 1 in 10 think it should be always illegal. Half believe abortion should be legal under certain circumstances. The polling does not go into certain circumstances like gestational weeks or exceptions for rape or incest.